Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Today's video, I'm going to do um, my Toucan Box unboxing for the month of December. This is my third month unboxing the Toucan Box. It is a children's art subscription box, and it is about $15 a month. I think it's like $12 a month, but then um, where I live, I spend about $3 on shipping, so it comes out to about $15 a month. Um, and it comes with like two art activities and a bunch of other stuff. And so I am just going to show you what's inside and then I will show you um, how our craft projects came out. But first, before I show you what's inside, I just kind of want to complain about the subscription a little bit. Now don't get me wrong, I love the subscription. I love um, getting to do the art projects every month with my son and my son really, really likes it. But the three complaints that I have is they don't send you an email confirmation when they charge you for the box. So the only time I know that I'm being charged for the box is when I log onto my bank account and I see that there is money out of my account. They don't send you a confirmation email, so that is frustrating. They don't send you a shipping confirmation email, so again, frustrating. The only time I can see that my box has been shipped is when I log onto their website, go to my account, and see that the box is marked as shipped. And then the third thing that is frustrating is that they don't have a tracking number for their box. And, you know, this is a pretty big box. Um, and I feel like a box of this size, especially one that you're buying every single month um, and you don't know when you're getting charged for it and when it is shipping, you should at the very least be able to track your box so that way you know when it's going to get to you. And um, this month was especially frustrating because um, I got this box later than I usually do. So for the past like week, I, I've been like, I don't know if my box is lost in the mail or if it's just late. And so that was kind of frustrating that I couldn't track my box and see where it was. Um, so those are my three complaints of this box. Um, I am actually going to cancel it partially because of that, those reasons, and partially because um, we're moving soon, and so I'm just trying to cancel all of my subscriptions temporarily, at least until we get into the new place. But, so just, I just wanted to mention that you might want to keep that in mind if you plan on subscribing to this box. Um, but like, that's really the only problem I have with it. The box itself is so much fun. It's just kind of like the order and the shipping that I'm having issues with. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you what is inside this month's box. Okay guys, so this is what the box looks like when you first open it up. Here we have our two different craft projects. The first one is Arctic Polar Bear. And this is the um, instruction packet, in case you haven't seen any of my past videos where I review these. The instruction packet is always on top. And then underneath, we have a bag that has um, all of the items that you need for the project. And then under that bag, let's see. Under that bag is just a little thing about how to get a free box. I have a um, link down below, and if you use that link, you get a free box, and I get half off my next box. And then it comes with a Christmas postcard that your children can color in and mail to somebody. First thing, I'm gonna move that box to the side and show you everything that comes in this first bag. So we have four pieces of this felt to make um, the polar bear mittens. And then we have two, um, these are actually stickers it looks like, and so you peel the back off. Um, so we have two of these, which I'm assuming are for the ears. It comes with a sticker, every single bag always has one of these big stickers in it, which are unrelated to the project, just fun for the kids to use. Um, a little baggie with a string of yarn, a plain black headband, and then in here, it looks like there's more felt stickers. There's a bunch of round ones and then two big ones for the ears as well as a plastic sewing needle. And so that is it for the first project. And then over here, the second project is a Christmas wreath. And again, this is the instruction booklet. And then here's the little bag of um, goodies that comes with everything you need for the project. Then under that, every month they always have like a little magazine and the magazine is filled with all kinds of things that your kids can do. There is um, like science projects, there's recipes, there's um, 
games and like little things that you can do inside the magazine. It actually reminds me a lot of Highlights Magazine from when I was a kid. I don't know if Highlights Magazine is still a thing, but um, my son really enjoys doing the things in the magazine. And then every box also comes with a sticker sheet for your kids to just have stickers. They don't have to do with the projects. They're just a fun extra that's thrown in there. And so back to the Christmas wreath project. Let's see what is in this bag. So first thing I see is a thing of sparkly gold glitter glue. Then we have like a strip of square stickers. These are like double sided stickers. Then we have some felt stickers that are like in these shapes, kind of like leaf, mistletoe wow. leaf shapes. We have a green ribbon. Another sticker that is, again, not related to the project, just an extra that's thrown in there. We have three red pom-pom stickers, again, I'm assuming for like a mistletoe. A big, like thick piece of, it's almost like a either thick piece of paper or thin piece of cardboard, and it is round like this for the wreath. And then we have a bunch of red and green felt. And let me see how many we have of each. And it looks like there is four um, pieces of green felt and then four pieces of red felt. So that is everything in the second bag. So that is it for everything that is inside of the box when you open it up. And so now I'm going to show you what our projects looked like after we complete them. Okay guys, so here are the finished products to the projects. Um, these were actually some of my favorite projects that we've done with the Toucan Box, mostly because they were really, really easy. Usually I have to help out my son a lot with these projects, but with these two, I actually did not have to help him out too much. One thing that I did want to mention is that there was an extra sticker for this project. I don't know if that was intentional or if it was an accident. I have noticed that a lot of times Toucan Box does include extras. Um, I don't know if it's like in case you mess up so you have an extra or if it's just like a common accident that they have. And then also something that I forgot to mention earlier is that sometimes on the instruction packets there are extra activities um, for the kids to do. They're not on all of the instruction packets, but every once in a while, I think like whenever there's an empty page on an instruction packet, they just throw in like an extra activity. So that way there's not a blank page. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video and this month's Toucan box. Like I said, these activities have been my favorite so far just because they were super easy and um, my son didn't need as much help from me as he usually does. I kind of got to sit back and just watch him create these. So I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in this video, but these boxes are from ages three to eight. A lot of the times they do have really small pieces like over here, these little mistletoe things, they are small pieces. So I wouldn't recommend them for ages under three. And they are most of the time like family activities. So if you're looking for a crafting box and also looking for a way to spend some time with your kids, um, I do recommend this. I will leave my refer friend link down below. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.